All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office. I did a review this morning on the Coffee Yager uh, Mag Series. Pretty neat little deal. Uh, one of the other things that we're going to be doing is a review on this setup right here. This is the Reaper. And this is a really neat deal. I'm going to show you how it works. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, but before we get started on the video that I'm doing right now, don't forget about Newman. Don't forget about Newman. That's a new catchphrase. All right, so don't forget about Newman. Uh, my next door neighbor's dog who uh, jumped on a fence and tore up his leg all to pieces. Anyway, any help that you could do, I'm going to put the GoFundMe down below. Newman is here. And this guy is so awesome. So anyway, if you can, spare a dollar, that's cool. All right, so what I want to do is I want to talk about uh, this this uh, news organization or this website called The Trace. And The Trace is pretty interesting because if you ever want to find out what the left or the anti-gunners are doing, this is where you want to go. Okay, so actually, uh, and are constantly asking for donations. Kind of like I'm asking for Newman to, you know, whatever. All right. So anyway, let's talk about this on Tuesday. Okay. That was, that was August 2nd. This is comes out August 2nd on Tuesday. U S district judge ruled that the new Jersey's ban on the AR 15 is unconstitutional lamenting in his opinion, which heavily referenced the Supreme court's 2022 Bruin decision that where the Supreme court has set forth the law of our nation as a lower court, I am bound to follow it. It's called a constitution, baby. Get the fudge over it. These people over here, they actually call it the cult AR-15 is un unconstitutional. All right, so wherever. Uh, a couple weeks ago, a federal appeals court ruled that a Minnesota law barring people under 21 for, from applying to carry a handgun in public violates the Second Amendment. And in June, a lawsuit challenging a new state excise tax on the sale of guns ammunition was filed in the California court. Uh, so this whole ser series they have is the secret operation to dismantle Americans' gun laws. Now it's called the, se the secret to upholding the uh, Constitution and our Second Amendment. Uh, just the other day, it was funny as hell. Somebody I can't remember who it was. I'm going to give him full credit. It was not me, but you know the whole thing was like my body, you know, my choice. Well, they asked the person, "You own a gun?" and shut the fudge up. Okay. Because the reason why is uh, if you don't own a gun, you don't have a choice. Oh, how about that? Okay, so anyway, the common denominator. There's a common denominator. And by the way, this was written by a guy named Sonny, or at least that guy, whatever they identify as, you know, because this is probably an identification group. Sonny Sohn. Uh, there's a common denominator in these cases among the most recent in a slew of lawsuits since Bruin, the Firearms Policy Coalition. I'm going to tell you something. If I got my sticker around here somewhere, I'll show you. The FPC, they are absolutely amazing. Okay, so the Firearms Policy Coalition and its offshoot, they write, the Firearms Policy Foundation are major players in, in reporter Will Van Sant's new investigation into a far-reaching multi-million dollar legal campaign to dismantle America's gun laws. Man, this is so. This is such a leftist breed of who y'all. I, I, I want to throw up. Van Zant's story is one of the major investigations out of the trace this week, and I guess I'm just giving them some free uh, publicity. But anyway, I'll put the link to their stuff below. And I mean, among some of the things that they're doing, they've got uh, the data shows. You're more likely to be shot in Selma than in Chicago. Here's another one they have. Uh, Kamala Harris's record on guns. Of course, she was really strict on those, just like she was on the border because she was the, uh, the gun safety prevention person. Yeah, okay. And then let's see. Here's another one. A call to protect democracy from the political violence. And in this picture, they show these two jackasses sitting out in front of some building in full kit. And they're AR-15s. So I guess, you know, we're the ones doing this mess. Armed and untouchable. ISIS, history of deadly force. And I guess in the last 30 years or so, they've accidentally shot, or actually shot like 54 people. Oh, let me, armed and untouchable. ISIS, dead. anyway, the same one. Okay, so anyway, you got to read some of this stuff. It, it, it's interesting. The bigger story is this, okay? And I'm going to go into this deal. I, I work in, people have asked me, where do you work? And I work in Pennsylvania, 
Okay. I live in North Carolina, which means sometimes I have to drive back and forth. I do all my shooting up there. And as if you saw today, I did the, uh, in the jungle in my backyard. Yeah. The federal judge, uh, ruled on Tuesday that the New Jersey's ban on the AR 15 is unconstitutional. And the FPC was directly involved in that. In his ruling, U.S. District Judge Peter Sheridan referenced rulings by the U.S. Supreme Court writing where the Supreme Court has set forth the law of our own nation as a lower court. I'm bound to it. Yeah. Phil Murphy. The rest of you New Jersey ass mites, that's a new word. I coined that one. You may use that. Uh, Sheridan ruled that New Jersey's restrictions were unconstitutional under Bruin and Heller as to the Colt AR-15 for the use of self-defense within the home. I like to use it for self-defense when I'm on the road, too. I was invited to a function in New Jersey, just right across the border, okay? And the contents of my trunk, just the contents of my trunk, and I have no firearms, just the contents would have put me in jail. I didn't have a gun on me, but just because I had a 30 round mag, the ammunition wasn't locked up. I probably had hollow points. Their rules are absolutely unconstitutional and ass a nine. Sheridan ruled only on the right to possess the Colt AR-15 and not similar weapons as a whole. So I guess if you don't have the pony, what if I've got the poverty pony? Think about that. The judge wrote in his ruling. I, you know, what's funny is that the people, the law enforcement, and I'll, don't take this the wrong way because I know there's some good law enforcement guys out there, but I'm looking at the individuals who uh, are anti-gun probably wouldn't know the damn difference. The judge wrote in his ruling that the court's analysis of the assault firearms law is limited to the firearm with which the court has been provided the most information on the AR-15. Okay, so there we go. In the ruling, Sheridan also noted the reckless inaction of our governmental leaders to address the mass shooting tragedy afflicting our nation. Nation. State Attorney General Matthew Platkin lambasted today's Tuesday's ruling promising the appeal the decision, saying is no support in the text or are the history of our Constitution. What the hell ever? Today's decision weaponizes the Second Amendment to undermine public safety, Platkin wrote. Uh, the AR-15 is an instrument designed for warfare that inflicts a catastrophic see what they don't get, and I'm telling I'm preaching to the choir, right? It's the AR-15 is just basically a semi-automatic rifle. We have semi-automatic rifles that are like the one right there, that M14, okay, uh, who is owned by a good friend of mine, Richard. I'm out here doing some work on it. We can probably put a new scope on that bad boy for him. In any case, uh, they would never know the difference. These things, it's one rifle is another rifle. The difference is the happy switch, the fun switch, <laughs> okay? However, Sheridan did side with the New Jersey law in limiting the size of large... Ah, oh, no, you didn't. Oh, and the state had changed the capacity from 15 to 10 rounds. Well, you better know how to change mags real fast. Uh, Placken noted that the overwhelming majority of our law remains intact today. This district uh, court thankfully upheld a restriction on large capacity magazines. No, normal capacity magazines. Normal capacity magazines. All right, guys. Well, anyway, I'll put the link to the, uh, both of these things down below. Do me a favor, if you would, uh, go check out Newman. And I'm doing everything for my neighbor. I told her I promised I would do some things for her on this one. And I do not want to break that promise. Check this article out, NorthJersey.com. I understand uh, my good friend John Crump just did a video on the Maryland deal. Okay. Uh, so we'll probably follow up with a video tomorrow on that one. So with that being said, guys, go check out the campsite. Okay. Got some really good deals. I still think they still have some of the 77 grain that uh, Anderson $29.99 uh, Upper receiver, stripped upper receiver is a deal. Uh, uh, so with that, we end them like this. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom is not free. Just short of 10 minutes on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and give a big old shout out to Callaway Ballistics, who provide all the ammo for this channel. How you are the man. We're going to perform a test of some of their 45 ACP and I told him to load them up hot because I've never done a video review of this guy right here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a Springfield V16 long slide. Look at those slots in there. Uh, I actually bought this right before and I mean I'm talking the day before Springfield went out and did that stupid BS trying to oh, support me but not the rest. And unfortunately, uh, I never did a review on this thing. And my big bad Billy, he under, he knows what this thing would do because he saw it inside a uh, inside what he called his thing, the shooting range that it's inside the building. I can't stand those things. Too loud, too loud, too loud. All right. With that being said, guys, y'all have a great day. In the infamous words of the Cobra Burnout, the real Cobra Burnout.
Y'all be good. Boom. Hoorah. <laughs>